What is the formula for inverse variation? Well, the formula for inverse variation is x times y equals k, where x and y are any two variables and k does not equal zero. Now, in addition to k not equaling zero, k has a special name. k is a constant that's called the constant of inverse variation. So if we know k and we know one of our other variables, then we can find the other one. Now also looking at this formula, we can see that as x increases, y will decrease, and the other way around. If x decreases, then y increases. Let's look at a problem using the formula for inverse variation. The number of cookies in John's cookie jar is inversely proportional to the number of days he's been dieting. If the constant of inverse variation is 6 and John has been dieting for 2 days, how many cookies are in the jar? We'll notice that our problem says inversely proportional. That phrase is the same thing as saying inverse variation. So we need to use our formula. Let's figure out what each one of our variables is and our constant. So first let's look at y. Our problem says that the number of cookies in the jar is inversely proportional to the number of days John has been dieting. Well since x and y are on the same side of our formula, it doesn't matter which one we choose. In other words, we just need to pick one to be the number of cookies and one to be the number of days John has been dieting. So let's pick y to be the number of cookies. And since we don't know this number, that will be our unknown variable that we need to solve for. So if y is the number of cookies, then x needs to be the number of days. And we were given that John has been dieting for two days. So x equals two. Now for k. K is our constant of inverse variation. And in our problem, that was 6. So, now we have all the pieces that we need. Let's plug it into our formula. We have x, which is 2, times y, equal to k, which is 6. When we solve for y, we get y equals 3. So, there are three cookies in the jar. Now notice that had we picked that value for x, so x being the number of cookies and y being the number of days, we still would have gotten the same answer. We would just have an x here instead of a y. So we'd still have three cookies left in the jar.